We'll hope that most people don't have to worry about aging too much in their teens, but it's a great question because it does highlight the point that aging starts earlier than we identify it. Certainly by our mid-20s to our later 20s, we're starting to see those dynamic wrinkles in our face around our eyes or between our eyebrows from facial animation movements um, being very, very present. And in certain cases, we start to see the, the early development of a fixed wrinkle in that area. In other words, a fixed sort of fold that doesn't seem to go away when our face is sort of flat or in repose and neutral. Now, those wrinkles tend to become much more established into our 30s. And that tends to be a predominant factor during that period of time. Once we get into our mid-40s, to early 50s, we start to see greater attenuation of a lot of the facial features and a change in what we call the inverted triangle of youth, where a lot of the facial fat and the fat pads in the face are sitting higher and in a more normal position. Now, as there's stretching and attenuation and relaxation of those normal fat pads, it tends to uncover the natural hollowing and shape of the face that exists without those fat pads co smoothly covering the areas. Where we tend to notice that is a little bit more hollowing through our cheeks, a little bit more hollowing through our temples. Now, as we transition into our mid-50s, sometimes even in our early 50s, understanding that the process is different for every person from a timing perspective, we start to see the change in the position of those fat pads in the face and increased loss of the volume of the fat of the face that tends to give not only the hollowing of the cheeks but heaviness of the nasal folds or the cheek folds combined with increased size uh, and, and, and descent of the jowls. As we continue to age into our 60s, we start to see even a more compounded effect of all of those processes as they go along, but the added contribution of significant thinning of the skin into that transitionary period where the skin starts to get thinner and as a result has further breakdown of its elastin or elastolytic protein or its elastin proteins which require uh, or are required to maintain a taut skin. We start to see more wrinkling of the skin in general rather than just fixed folds in those areas where we animate the face. And then this is compounded as we transition to our later 60s and 70s with relaxation of the underlying muscles uh, causing more changes in areas like the neck showing neck bands and additional wrinkling. And that's typically what happens as we transition through our lifetime. Understanding that these processes are very individual from one patient to another, and some of those changes may not happen for an additional decade in a certain patient based on their genetic backgrounds.